in a rapidly changing world, and after all for every individual it's a rapidly changing life from youth to old age, you want something that doesn't change. And uh, that's what, that's the function of ritual. I don't mean it in the legalistic sense, but doing things the same way all the time. For example, although my religious beliefs are now very independent, I'm more interested in the teachings of Jesus than the uh, mysteries of the Virgin Birth or the Holy Ghost, but when I go through England on a train, I love seeing all the churches, the spires and the towers, and I think how many people have seen in them continuity. Somewhere where you can be married, somewhere where you can have a child baptised, and then funerals are very important, because at funerals you meet a lot of old friends, and you discover things about Aunt Emily who's just died, you never knew when she was alive, and it's reassuring. Christmas ritual, sending Christmas cards, receiving Christmas cards, and every family have their own rituals. We have our rituals at home for birthdays and uh, special routines at Christmas. We used to, the children used to gather around the chimney to see whether Santa Claus had come down with the presents. And I think that's an essential part of life. Parliament is full of rituals. Indeed, the whole British constitution is ritualised. We have one family we call the royal family. On the other hand, on great occasions to see the parades and so on, gives people a sense of continuity. And I think the more rapidly the world changes, the more necessary it is. And of course organisations have them, sometimes we call them um, a bureaucracy. And they are in a way bureaucratic, but they're also reassuring because you're doing it the same way all the time. And within that framework of security, people can be more daring. The danger of ritual, and there is some danger, is in one sense the bureaucracy. Every meeting has to take exactly the same form. Uh, I've been to many Labour meetings and it begins with the minutes of the last meeting, apologies. And then what happened to the crockery after the last social? And you could spend a long time discussing that when 9-11 has just occurred. And uh, that sort of thing. And then there is a, a, a destructive form of ritual where you use it to keep other people out. We don't talk to him because he's a Catholic. I mean, in Northern Ireland, that was a very big issue, or a Protestant. And so you've got to be very careful about that. 